everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to activate the developer options, which are hidden settings on Android devices, which allow you to access advanced features and tools useful for customization. Enabling them allows you to fine tune system behaviors, improve performance, and explore features not normally available to average users. If I'm going too fast, please comment with any questions and I will answer them. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so first you want to go to the system settings, scroll all the way down to the bottom, select about phone, click software information, and then you're going to tap the build number quickly seven times. Here you're going to enter your PIN or your password if you have one, and select OK. All right, now the developer options are enabled. Let's tweak a few of the options. You're going to go back to the main settings and you will see developer options all the way to the bottom. Go ahead and select that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the animations and transitions. So on the right here, you're going to scroll down until you see the drawing section. Okay, and there we are. You're going to adjust the window animation scale to 0.5x. You're going to switch the transition animation scale also to 0.5x and the animator duration scale to 0.5x. You can set them to any scale you like, but these settings seem to be the sweet spot for speed without being too abrupt. These settings cut all animations in half for a noticeably snappier feel and you'll notice just how much faster your phone feels with just these little tweaks. Okay, the next setting I tend to adjust is the minimum width setting, and it shrinks or enlarges the UI, and it can unlock a tablet-style layout or show more content on your screen. So right below here, you'll see the minimum width, and if you want, you can go ahead and write down that value just in case you don't like the change that you make. So let's go ahead and set it to 500 and then you can select OK. OK, so if you do a lot of screen recordings or tutorials, another setting you can change is in the input section. So we're going to go ahead and scroll up until you see input and you can toggle on show taps which shows visual feedback for your taps. You can toggle on pointer location and that'll show your touch data. And you can also toggle on show key presses. And all these will improve when you do screen recordings or tutorials. Also, if you do a lot of presentations or long monitoring sessions, you can scroll all the way back up to the top of the developer options and go ahead and toggle, let me get there first, the stay awake toggle. And this will keep the screen on while you're charging. So then you don't get it to time out when you're doing something important. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of other settings that you can mess around with, but these are the main ones I typically change on my Z Fold 7. Every change in the developer options can be reverted instantly. If something feels off, you can set it back to default or toggle the developer options right here and it resets everything inside and it'll hide the menu again. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and leave your thoughts and comments below. And thank you for watching, and goodbye.